What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Modern Cube. Our team decks have always been really good, um, except we just can't 3-0 with them. <laughs> that's the only that's the only problem, really. So maybe if we just keep teamering, we keep 2-0-ing, or 2-1-ing. And then sometimes you don't draw a fifth land for nine turns. So, you know, that's a problem as well. Um, let's take Chromatic Lantern. I think this is probably one of the stronger cards that we can take. And if Grave Titan, Walking Bliss, the Sylvan Carrier, and Crocs are... If any of those come back. Oh, Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. That's pretty nice. That's a good reason to go five colors. If Woodfall, Primus, Jace, or Lumbering Falls come back, I'll be happy. Oh, Karanos. <laughs> yeah, you guys know how I feel about a Karanos. Uh, Dreadboar is also super good. Riftwing Cloudskate is nice, but I feel like Karanos has been MVP. I don't think Crocs is first pickable at all. I think Grave Titan's real good. But Chromatic Lantern also is just a boss card in this cube that lets you go five colors. So. Mystery boosters? Are mystery boosters coming to Magic Online? Do we get to draft mystery boosters? Did they also program in the the the, the test cards? Because that would be sweet. There's no way they did that. I'm going to take Savai Triome here. It is both red and white, which covers our two guys. And also, uh, I'm pretty sure we're just going to be five color here. This is a lot of lands. Cyclonic Rift, very, very good. Because it is improbable how often it happens, buddy. You're telling me. I think we want Hinterland Harbor. We want the lands that come into play untapped, and we want Shock Lands and Triomes to facilitate that. No lands. Dragon Lord of Tarka. Abrupt Decay seems good. Hero's Downfall seems good. Um, hmm. <laughs> I think it's definitely Abrupt Decay or Hero's Downfall. Hero's Downfall kills Planeswalkers. We have Sabai, Triome. Let's take Hero's Downfall. Eh, Fumarole's good. Assassin's Trophy also kills anything. So does Oblivion Ring, though. I kind of like Oblivion Ring here. Yeah, Oblivion Ring's good. Meh. Nathan Zamora himself. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of your own actions. Um, oh, I like a Johnny. I also like Elspeth Conquer's death. Elspeth Conquer's death seems real good here. Sunpetal Grove? Oh, Croxa came back. We have lots of white cards. I think Sun Petal's more important. I also think Disfigure and Incinerate are fine. Okay, well, none of those cards I wanted came back. Magmatic Sinkhole could be decent. <laughs> I 
Actually, Condemn is probably good. Yeah, let's take a Condemn. It's just a nice one mana answer to things. Like, you can also play Chromatic Lantern on three and keep up Condemn, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, Martial Coup. I'll take a Martial Coup. We're obviously heavy white here. Flame Spill's okay. I don't want a five drop, but eh, I'll just take Flame Spill. Is it just a creature? I wish it was creature or planeswalker. Eh, Hex Mage, sure. Not super excited about those. Adriani destroys far more land than Elspeth, that's true. Elspeth doesn't destroy any land. Unless you get back something like Acidic Slime with her. In which case she kinda tangentially destroy the land. The Abrupt Decay came back? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I don't care about you. <laughs> Armada Black Devotion deck's coming together. Alright. Blood Crypt and Overgrown Tomb. I love this Vivian, but I don't want another three drop, 5 drop right now. Huntmaster's great. We're definitely black and red. Also black green. We got Abrupt Decay. Overgrown Tomb also turns on Hinterland Harbor and Sun Petal Grove. I think it's actually Overgrown Tomb. Maybe Blood Crypt comes back. There's a Woodland Cemetery. And a Lightning Bolt. And a Duplicant. And a Conclave Tribunal. I think it's just Woodland Cemetery. I don't know. We already have Oblivion Ring. We have Elspeth Conqueror's Death, which is kind of like... Both those are kind of like Tribunal. Duplicant's fine. I think we take Duplicant and maybe Woodland Cemetery comes back. Or Lightning Bolt. I want to take Lightning Bolt. I want to have some early things to do. Primeval Titan. That's a card. Especially in this deck. I'm going to take a Primeval Titan. If, ma if Worm Coil Engine or Treasure Map come back, I'll be very thrilled. Oh, what up, Timmy boy? Oh, yeah. It's coming together. Burden Catacombs. That gets a Savai Triumph because it's a swamp. It also gets Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, we're definitely taking Burden Catacombs. The only card I would consider... Oh, actually, there's a Triumph. Shit, I hope this Triumph comes back. Atris is also pretty decent. <whistles> Nicobolus. Hmm. Pretty easy to cast with Chromatic Lantern. Condescend. I feel like we're tapping out. I think it's Nicobolus. Really speaks to my inner, my inner nickel bolus. I like Bone Crusher Giant too. It's just a nice thing to do on two. I think it's Bone Crusher. I don't want to have too many expensive cards. Oh god, that was hard to do. I don't want to take that, but what can you do? I mean, like if we didn't take nickel bolus, we're probably not taking Garrick. But I don't think any other cards. I think this is probably a. I think this is Inquisition. I don't think it's Packrat. I don't think Packrat's actually that strong in this cube. Yeah, Tide Hollow's kind of trash. I just hate Tide Hollow. Like, because in a deck like this, I'm probably going to be wrathing the board at some point. Maybe. And then they just get their guy back, and it just makes me f completely sad. I don't hate Fiend Artisan to try to search this guy out, but I don't know how many creatures we're going to have. I'll just take the stupid Garrick. 
whatever. Oh, Marsh Flats. Also gets both Triome and Overgrown Tomb. Sword, don't care about that. Flame Slash is probably fine. Cast Out also probably fine. We have Lightning Bolt. I'll just take the Cast Out. It also cycles. Hunt Master of the Fells is great. I'll take a Hunt Master. Woodland Cemetery came back. Deal. Bet, as Michael B. would say. Yeah, this looks pretty sweet so far. Well, none of my faves came back, but Soren could be fine, I guess. I just hate this. is my least favorite Soren out of like all the Sorens. There's like three, four mana Sorens. This is literally third on my list. Good times. Uh, Elder Spell could be decent, actually, as a sideboard option. None of these are good at all. Phyrexian Obliterator? Man, we are we are getting our mono black on. Oh, Bosch is even good in the mono black deck, guys. All right. Well, we definitely need more picks from this last pack, unfortunately. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven fixing lands. Ha ha ha. Calothus is like kind of like MVP, but so is Golos. Oh, fudge. So is Dryad. <laughs> All these cards are very good for us. Hmm. I mean Flamestool is definitely playable, actually. God, Calothus. Calothus and Karanos, guys. They're just my I think they're my two pet cards this season. Yeah, I think Clothis is probably the pick here, and then maybe Golos comes back. Ashiok is great. The threes and five drops in this fucking deck right now are pretty bananas. Scalding Tarn I like. It gets Survive Triumph and maybe something else at some point. Clever Impersonators are real good, but I don't think our mana's in a place to have a double blue card. Oh wow, it almost took the it almost took the clever. I'm glad I was able to look and notice that it was doing that nonsense. <sighs> Prismatic Vista, you are a thing. See so again, like the only cards I want here are three drops, or five drops, or double black card, which actually might be fine. We have one, two, three, four, five black sources already in our sideboard. Could be fine. Bone Crusher is also a two drop. But Vista gets any land. Yeah, I'm going to take the Vista. Nothing in that pack was tempting enough to, to pass on a Vista. I like Silumgar. And I think it's probably the pick here. Yeah, that seems good. What? Why is this Chase the Mind Sculptor still here and this Consecrated Sphinx? Are you serious right now? Wow. Wow. Okay, we're taking Jace, I guess. Yeah, that's that's a thing that we're gonna do. I almost don't mind Extinction Event here. Huh. That's insane. Um Yeah, alright. We can also take Lava Claw reaches. This is 19 cards and you have four playables. I think we could probably get four playables out of this. I'm gonna take the Lava Claw Reaches. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is Thassa good here? We have Huntmaster, and that's pretty. And Prime Time, no, it's pretty terrible. I think Forsake is actually playable. Could also take needle spires. We have a significant amount of white and red. Nykthos any mana, dude. <laughs> it's definitely not any mana. Do we have an effect like this? I guess we have oblivion rings. Whatever. I'll just take the stupid needle spire. Dream trawler. Oh, for for sure. For absolutely sure, I will take that. Oh, I like Night of Autumn, and I like Wall of Omens here. Hmm. Actually, Night of Omen is, is great here. Let's take Night of Autumn. Mm, Clever Impersonator seems a little bit better now that we have a Jace. 
I don't think there's any more blue sources that we can get to fix. We also have, already have double blue, so we can also just take a lightning strike here. I really love Glorybringer, but I think I just want my more early interaction. Eh, Gifted Aethermorn is a thing, I guess. I don't care about any of these things. Um, Take this guy. L is Lurus any good? No, we literally just have Gifted Aetherborn. I'll take Pyroclasm. And Night Veil Spectre. And last pick, Consecrated Sphinx. That would be sweet, right? No, don't care. I mean, this is actually fine. I think this looks decent. It does not have our boy Niv Mizzet in it, but we do have Chromatic Lantern and a bunch of fixings, so. Okay, you know how we do. Let's get the uh, let's get the equation meme on the board. Twelve seven seven six nine, sure. So it goes white, green, blue, black, red. So we're probably gonna have two islands. That's my guess. All right, guys. White, blue, black, red, green. White we have. Marsh Flats and Neil Spires, that's two. Prismatic is three. Savai is four. Tarn is five. Catacombs is six. So six white sources. Blue we have Hinterland Harbor, Scalding Tarn, and Vista, so three. Black we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a good amount. Red we have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Good amount. Green, we have one. Does Marsh Flats get a green? Overgrown, yes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay. It's not bad. And we still get six lands. It's pretty decent. Well, Vista is only stars we play, but we're playing six basics, so. And we're probably playing one of each color, I would imagine. We actually don't, we, I don't think we need a red. Actually, we have seven red sources, but then it goes down to six if we don't play a red for the Vista, so. Badger, what up, my dude? I actually think we want, like, three blue sources. We gotta go two. It's gotta be two, unfortunately. It's gonna, it's gonna be so bad, though. Badger, I was just I was just talking about the other day. I was like, I haven't seen Badger in like a week or so. I hope he's doing all right. And then I saw your post, and I was like, oh, he's doing just fine. Um, one, two, three. I think this is I think this is what we have to do, even though we have Jace and Dream Trawler. I think that's actually fine. Cut you, add you. Like, we just don't want Prismatic Feast to not be an option. Plus, we could just draw Chromatic Lantern every game, so. Yeah, Badger just lifted 175 kilograms of the gym, which I think is like almost 400 pounds, <laughs> which is actually insane. That's 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 insane, dude. <laughs> that's a good amount of weight. I I can I can personally say that I cannot do that. What card should I draw a proxy of next? Uh, that's a good question. Aim it for 200 kilograms in a couple weeks? Is that like 450? I'm an American, so I know pounds. 441. It's about 441 pounds. That's insane. That's like not a real number, dude. Like, that just seems, that seems like the amount that, like, you know, those situations where, like, there's like a baby trapped under a car and the mother gets, like, super strength. 
and so she's like able to lift the car just lifting 440 pounds is like that you become that mother who's like i need to save my baby and then you like lift the car up why doesn't anyone want to join our queue all right let's do it Hey, this is not bad. We got Oblivion Ring mana, Abrupt Decay mana, Jace mana. <laughs> we do not have this guy mana yet. Oh, what does this get? Dang it, we should have definitely taken a picture of our mana base. <coughs> we need a white source. Oh, no, we don't. We need a second black source is what we need. So actually, we're probably going to get, like, overgrown tomb. We're cracking this for something, for sure. It's not unusual to see me cry. I want to die. Yeah, let's get overgrown. Nope. So we can go island. One, two, three. Just ring this guy. Let's ring him up. Next time we can go Soren. That's kind of cool. Even though I hate this Soren. Hold on one second. Pop this open. Okay. Well, Thrun's pretty good. Don't like that. Hmm. So we can just make a blocker. Soren goes to two. <clears throat> that's, that's really not ideal. <laughs> I mean, the alternative is we play nothing, so. Oh man, big metal fans. See that one, I know. Harmonize. Okay. And we're definitely just blocking here. Keep Soren alive for another turn. Hmm. That's fascinating. Good lord, man. God, Theron is really doing us a... <laughs> we could also Teferi go to five, I guess? Did we play land? Yes, we did. So we can actually untap these two and keep up both condemn and abrupt decay because you can trick it plus one plus o and lifelink yeah if we're if they're going yeah so this is not terrible my husband dumped me for only for talk for for only talking about video games it's just a ridiculous thing to fall out for <laughs> oh boy Oh boy, I have a pain. What is he doing right now? Virtuous, virtuous Gear Hulk. Yeah. Hexproof is a really cool mechanic that I I definitely enjoy. No, wait, the opposite of that. I don't enjoy it all. That's what it is. Yeah, I got confused. Well, we have Marshall Coup mana. Yep. Yep, all right. <laughs> yeah. 
One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six. Oh, fantastic. Um... It's actually very good. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jace is probably dead this turn. Let's keep that in mind. Let's play Aetherborn, probably Marsh Flats, right? Put this on top, then put this on top of that. We can play Harbor. Draw Harbor. It prevents us from drawing the Aetherborn, which is fun. Oh, we didn't even activate Soren. Wow, that was bad. 7, 8, 12, 12, 13. Yeah, that was bad. <sighs> that sucks. I was really more excited about throwing the Marshall Coup here, but that is unfortunate. Hmm. We actually should have tucked this, put it on top, kept um, Marsh Flats in hand. Because if they have, like, Thoughtseize or something. Yep, that is correct. And the other one is also correct. I'm just going to condemn this guy here. Because we get to keep a Planeswalker, so it's pretty decent. Especially giving all our guys plus one, plus O, and lifelink. Jace dying is unfortunate, but I mean, we knew. The food additive azodicarbonamide, still approved for use in flour as a dough conditioner for bread in the U.S. is also a common constituent of yoga mats and carpet underlay. Gross. That guy's good. Did you just draw seven here? No. Also, they don't have mana up. Huh. Hmm. Well, let's get a white source. Actually, I was afraid of this Garrick ultimating, and then I was like, wait. Wait. They're not going to have any creatures. I guess they could play one. They have five cards. Second fact, which is very true. In 2005, a ban on the word mate within the Australian Parliament building was retracted less than 24 hours later. It was announced. <laughs> They're like, listen, we can't. We can't do that. Is the reason because they just like couldn't stick with it? Because that's pretty funny if so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a three. Yeah. Let's attack Garrick. I kind of want to kill this. I mean, we're not going to be able to... Actually, we can't, right? Black, black. Yeah, we can't do that. I'm pretty sure we do have to Heroes Downfall to Garrick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jeez. Second black source would have been... A third black source, rather, would have been pretty bananas here. I think we just have to get rid of this, otherwise they draw three. I mean, we lose Soren, but I don't really care about Soren that much when I have... Primeval and, and Xenagos in hand. Not Xenagos, Karanos. Wrong, wrong Anos. Was banned because security staff were using it in Parliament House? Not sure why it was such an issue. Yeah, just that seems weird. Who cares? Just let him say mate, you know? 
Yeah, see, the, here's the funny thing. If we didn't forget to plus Soren that one turn, we still would have had a Soren alive here. So you're you're watching the consequences of our actions come back to haunt us from four turns ago. And there's definitely tons of things we can draw, like Dream Trawler. Yeah, that's a good dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. Watch them crack Verdant Catacomb into like Mana Leakas. I don't think they're playing any blue cards, so. They could Doom Blade us. They're two cards. Alright, so. I think it's definitely Lava Claw Needle Spires. Two creature lands that also add more black and white and red. When our hand is two red cards, seems good. Oh look, their last card. Oh no, they're, I was like, oh look, they're just gonna kill this guy. I mean, if they attack with Worm Crow, we're not blocking. <laughs> Fucking Christ, sure. <laughs> oh God, seems good. Dragon Lord, one time. Cast out. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So four, five, six. Eh. Stomp. This guy. Red and blue. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. We can actually play Cast Out on the Worm Coil and then just play Bone Crusher, which actually seems fine. So, one, two, three. <clears throat> Time for word of the day. K Y Y K K Y V I I N I. Literally squat wine, cheap wine, often placed on the lowest shelf in the shop. How do you pronounce it though? That seems wild. What's the land on the far left? A Savai Triome. It's a Mardu mana. I think we actually just block here because we can just block this guy next turn. I'll take two more damage to get rid of a creature. Especially when we have Karanos. And we can Abrupt Decay it if we really need to. They have two cards. How good can they be? Eh. It's technically just a seven mana divination. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. Interesting. <clears throat> so green and black. Oh, they didn't need anything. Okay, I guess because they're going to draw two cards. Um, one, two, three... Four, five, Karanos. And then black, black, Gears of the Aether Born. Might as well get in there for four, because this is an easy block. We also have Karanos to shoot something next turn. Yeah, draw your two. So I have no cards. They have three cards, but Karanos should help us with that next turn. You know, theoretically, in theory. Yeah, easy block here. Not gonna go to six. Okay, seems good. They have one more card. 
Primeval Titan? Grave Titan. Must be nice. And we hit a land. Second land? Oh! Not the worst. Not the worst. Okay. White. Two, three, four, five. Get rid of the gravy boy. Um, can't think of a reason not to play the land here. Yep. Actually, Elspeth seems great here. We can get Jace, Teferi, Primeval Titan. Okay, well, they're just paying a million, so Genesis Hydra. Walking Ballista for five. So we're almost dead here. Seems good. I mean, they definitely shoot this for three. We activate Lava Claw, we try to block, they kill that too. Maybe not? Okay. Okay, and it's two lands. So four, five, six, yep, and that's the game. Seems good. Walking Ballista is a cool draw. Drawing three out of four lands in the last four cards is pretty sweet too. <sighs> yep. Hmm. can go here. The Paraclasm seems decent. Like, it kills all the Hornet Queen tokens. Kills all of the... Wasn't there another card? Grave Titan tokens? I don't know. Maybe that's not great, though. I mean, there were a lot of X2s, but I feel like if we're doing that, like, it's it's usually just a one for one. I almost, like, kind of want Elder Spell or Vampire Hex Mage. I think Elder Spell's probably better. Hmm. Is anything not good? God, that one turn with Soren, I feel like that definitely affected the game. Let's take Gifted Aided Born out. Eh, it's actually pretty decent, and they don't really have a ton of answers for it. I'm just going to submit 41 because I'm a maniac. I also want to be able to I'll just copy the whole deck so you know what to search for. If the MTGO Shuffler was a person and he ran to them, what would you say? I'd just punch him in the face. Be like, this is for years of emotional abuse. Let's keep this. Can we get a green with this? Yeah, we can get an overgrown tomb. Which is probably exactly what we want to get. Doesn't let us play Abrupt Decay, but it does let us play everything else in the hand. No. Okay. I might actually cycle cast out here. Would have been a good turn to have another. Black source. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not going to play. Actually, I'll just play Knight here. Make it a 4 4. 4 3. The reason being, I, like, I want to be able to deal with, like, um, the deck's actually very good. They have 5 mana Garrick, 7 mana Garrick, Worm Coil, Grave Titan. Like their deck is pretty pretty solid. This also means they can play a six drop next turn, so. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. So I'm almost tempted to get rid of this guy because of that. But I guess we could just get rid of whatever they play. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh, man. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Forest. I mean, I obviously prefer one coil to Grave Titan. Yep. And it's Grave Titan. Hmm. So that's okay. Hmm. Interesting. Fascinating. Okie dokie. That's so they go a Civic Slime kill cast out. That'd be pretty good. Rex Age kill cast out. <laughs> oh boy. Mana base cannot support it, unfortunately. That would have been absolutely disgusting. But instead, I'm completely blown out. So that's cool. I mean, all we have to do is draw land, land, right? And then Marshall Coup gets to... Yep, Harmonize is pretty good. Wow. Not having Abrupt Decay up is pretty comical. Yep, that would have done the trick too if this was untapped. Hmm, kind of just want either... Either boy here. I mean, we can block the Zombones effectively. So, according to Urban Dictionary, that's what Rochambeau means. Rochambeau is actually just rock, paper, scissors. So they have Prime Prime Titan, Grave Titan, and <laughs> and the other dude. Warm Coil. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yep. Remember that time we had lands? Those are those are some those are the days. That we ate the biscuits in the morning. Turn seven, missed two land drops. Well, you did go up to 41 cards, and that cost you another draw the lands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just find a way to kill this guy. I just play seven mana Garrick and kill this. Oh no, just walking blister for 400. <laughs> cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yep, that was fun. first sure this is actually pretty reasonable as far as hands go our mana base is definitely the bottleneck unfortunately but i mean like we tried to we tried to really make it good you know uh, sure this guy's coming in for one
is when we died at the mono red deck. Hmm? Hmm? This guy's actually pretty good. They didn't pump their guy. That's gonna land drop. Crack that Bowmack here. See if you can hit a land. Scrappy boy, scrappy boy, what are they feeding you? So we're just going to play Overgrown here, keep up one of these two, and uh, then Dream Trawler. I like Dream Trawler in this matchup. Can't specify why though. Yeah, it's it's a little confusing. One, two, three, four. This guy. Let's get Scrappy Boy out. Big hints. We don't even have to crack Scalding Tarn at this point, which is super nice. Dream, Dream Trawler MVP. We're going to have three cards to discard. You're going to have to really work to kill this guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not being able to kill this this turn is pretty good. Oof. One blue, blue, this. Okay, well. Wow. That was a reprieve. I mean, I feel like they have to crater maker here. attacks it appears we have stabilized oh that's a good one so yeah every turn they don't actually kill <laughs> three five every time they don't kill chromatic lantern i just get a little closer to the sun Oh, Badger, what do you have for dinner, buddy? I don't know. I'm trying to work it out. Uh, I'm going to let them do this because to discard something now means... So they can actually sack and hack and sack here. Yep, that's fine. Now I'll prevent all the things that you want to do to me. Uh, crit Beast. I mean that's a that's a band-aid for a decapitation right there, my dude. I too am a big pasta fan. Uh two three sure, that's fine. You going after Garuki? Okay, that's kind of funny. 
create a guy. No he's yield to that dude. Yep. I mean, this is just game. One one connect from a dream trawler is probably all you need. Uh, blue. Uh, this has got to be the end, right? I don't know why we're still playing this. It's very strange. I can't be bothered cooking. <laughs> Do you guys have like DoorDash or Uber Eats? What are your <clears throat> what are your food delivery options in Australia? Um, let's bring in Pyroclasm. <laughs> Uh, any life gain nonsense here? Dragonlord Silumgar seems like trash. Surprising amount of life gain here. We have Clothis, Knight of Autumn, Huntmaster, Solemn Simulac, Sol Solemn Simulac, Sorum, Solemn Visitor, Dream Trawler. I kind of just like Liliana. As like just a creature that I think I hear his downfall. It's harder to cast. Just a two one first striker? Sure. Let's get rid of Elspeth Conquer's death. Sure. Soren Psalm Simulacrum. That's a good dude. Uber Eats for just one meal for one person seems a bit extreme. Well, if you're not going to order something and you're not going to cook, I don't know what your I don't know what your options are here. We can't get a blue source with this, I don't think. We can get Overgrown Tomb. And that's it, really. Okay. I'm just going to play Lava Claw Reaches here. Then we're going to play this, this guy next turn. Then we're going to play this and this. Oh, we just got her too? That's pretty cool. Alright, so. And two lifelink creatures is pretty decent. I'll eat a gym mat, or as you folks in America like to call it, bread. <laughs> That's. Uh, I think you mean a yoga mat? Okay, you don't know anything about it. Gym mats. I mean, this is an easy block, right? Instead of taking three, I gain two, and you don't have any black mana, so... Okay. <clears throat> uh, so one, two, three. Liliana with lifelink again. I mean, I do have a car, and I can go drive to pick some. Touche. I figured if you couldn't bother to be cook, to cook, you probably couldn't be bothered to go drive either. Okay, sure. You coming at me, bro? Sure, I'll take four. Oh, we drew the overgrown tomb. Well, that is awkward, isn't it? They're just going to try them here. 
and then next turn we can Oblivion Ring, and then next turn we can ideally Primeval Titan. In a perfect world. No, we don't have second green. Oh, I guess we have to go these two then, instead of the stupid Needle Spires. Sure. Like this into Oblivion Ring, and then Sun Petal. Sure, this is all fine. Good gravy. We can also just get a could also just get a forest to activate this and block one, which I don't think is terrible. How does that affect our plan? We still have double double red, double black. Yeah, I think that's actually fine. Uh, we can also block the Annex and pump, but I really don't want to be that far behind, so. So now we have to Sun Petal Grove to Oblivion Ring. Which I think is fine, because next time we just get to play friggin' Monster Man. That's Primeval Titan, so you guys, in case you didn't know. Food delivers either pizza or my mom. Hey mom, can you bring me some food? Sure, sweetie. Perforos. Seems good. Definitely just blocking an axe here, I think. Taking three. Okay, they're only attacking with an axe. Yeah, that makes sense. This is what, five? I don't think I want to go to seven. What is this guy? As long as whenever another creature enters the battlefield, he's two damage to us. Hmm. Maybe this was the correct thing to, to exile. No, Chandra making tokens for the Perforos is pretty ma pretty pretty amazing. We just jump go to go to fourteen, play Primeval Titan, we can block next turn. We take one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's a lot of damage. I mean, otherwise we have to play this untapped. So we're taking seven, we go to five. We go block here, block here, we take four. And this, I think we just have to block here in case they have like a burn spell in hand. Hmm. No, I don't like that this late. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully this just keeps us alive, I guess. Um, Savai Triome and Woodland Cemetery, I guess. Hangeland Harbor is probably correct. Yeah, we don't have any blue right now. Actually, maybe it's not even Triome. It's probably just double blue in case we, like, hit a double blue card. I feel like we're dead. Yeah, this is probably bad. Mm, sure, we take two. Oh boy, this is brutal. Where are my dream trawler is at? Okay, that's actually fine. So we block here, we take six, so eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're dead. Yep. Oh, and this guy is haste anyway, so that's cool. Yep. Cloth is early, seems. <laughs> that would have been good. Close this early seems great. Um, yeah, which is funny because we drew gifts today. There weren't and Liliana. Still did not matter. Ah. <sighs> 
This is timely sideboarding. Um, I'll keep it because we have <laughs> these three and we have a hunt -a master if we hit some more lands. So we actually have some pretty decent action against them. We're just hoping to hit lands. It's a bowman. Okay. Well, we did not hit a land. Did you see that? Come on, lands. I'll take one. Nothing. Well, I'm definitely stomping now. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. Yep. O2 incoming. Got a lot of humbled rags over here with his land. I'm kind of hoping for no crater, for no crater maker, and to no, no like a braid. Oh uh, yeah, it's fine. I don't care about that at all. Hmm. Let me get that dude in the graveyard. Oof. We can Teferi and blink this. Hmm. We don't have to crack this. That's pretty sweet. Um. Hmm. Teferi goes to one. They have to have, like, damage for it that turn. You know what? I'm just going to play Teferi and plus him. That's actually pretty good because now he gets to untap. And keep up Lightning Strike. Is it Exile? Yeah, it's got to be Exile, right? Oh, it's over here. Sure. Oh, this is actually pretty good because if they spend their turn playing Rabble Master, then we actually just get to kill it. Man, this was a timely lightning strike. Oh, they didn't do anything. We just get to untap with a hunt master and a, a t oh. I think that's better. Uh, red, blue, green, and then white and this guy. Yep, untap these two. Wow, that's pretty insane. Burst lightning. Sure. I mean, you can kick that. It's actually pretty good because you get to play a guy and get rid of my Eidolon. I mean, this card's fine. It's a card that many other red cards have been based on. Three, four, I'll check out. They have a perfect five drop, like a glory bringer. Oh, they're just Tefering. They're bringing Tefering down to two. And then they're going to go beep beep. Oh, Tefri being at two is just beaut. Let's get rid of Earthshaker Kenra. Oh, and we gain two? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it's real. It's real. Um, one, two, three, four. This guy gains some life. Play land. Let's play Bone Crushy. Now who's the beat down? Untap this and this. Sure. Oh, hero. That's the hero of Oxid Ridge. You guys know the hero of Oxid Ridge? Tell me something better. Flame spill, huh? Okay. That's fine. Hang on, block with the wolf. Does not seem preferable. 
Oof. Mm, let's get a Rabble Master, I guess. Oh, good grief. Uh, one, two, three. Destroy this. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> Alright, well, not bad. Let's try to finish this as a 2 1. And that is the dinner. Badger, I bet you're gone already. But uh, it's good seeing you, buddy. <laughs> Little Nitro episode. <laughs> nice. Nice. Man, Affinity. You're basically a stream manager. Dude, I was, looking at, I was actually looking at the MTG about clips today. Or not clips, but uh, commands. And there were like a million of them. I will play. Mm. I don't think we can keep this. Oh, that's. It's not. It's not great. Oh, we both went to six? Okay. We're just gonna start with this because we don't know what we're getting. Could get it, come on, just lands all the way down. Okay. Well, not ideal. So if I try on, would it be nice? It gives us the white, the red, and the black. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I'm just not going to get a second black with this because that would be extremely greedy. And a lot of claw reaches. Okay. So now we have double black and red. So now we just get green or blue. That actually was very good because it turns on all three of these. Narset. And Hendrelin Harbor. Green. So now I'm going to get a blue here. Oh, or a white. Eh, I think it's a blue. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Now, any blue lets us cast Jace. Any white lets us cast Teferi. And we have more white than blue in the deck. <laughs> oh, you're just getting rid of... Interesting. Five cards. Oh, that was very good. What do we think the odds are this uh, Teferi resolves? Yeah, it's real low. They do not have six. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> Probably should have just played Gifted Aether more and considered ourselves lucky. Hmm. We do have a second blue to get as well, which is pretty sweet. So we can just get the second blue. Counter for this too. I'm sure you're sublime epiphanying and considering your modes. What? Well, we're definitely drawing three here. <laughs> we did play a land. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're just putting back Hinterland Harbor and Lightning Bolt. 
I'll play Aided Born here. Because next turn, if we draw, like we can go Lantern into Soren if they get rid of Jace. Which I feel like they might be doing right now. Sings of Revelation? Okay. It's like a bad Jace. <laughs> Six cards in hand is pretty good, though. We had another act, another Jace activation. Wow. Hmm. We'll put Hinterland Harbor back and probably... Hmm, I like Lantern here. I also like Dream Trawler. But I don't know what they have. So... Probably just Lightning Bolt. Six cards in hand, I don't understand. I'm just like very confused. I, mean, I feel like they do have Epiphany in hand. One, two, three. Uh, no. This is very confusing. We're just going to attack for two because if they have like two removal spells or a counter spell for the Soren we're going to play, I still want to have a guy up. So, end of combat disenchant. Yep, that's pretty bad. That's not ideal. I wish I had the lightning bolt in hand. Because now they're going to kill this guy. Yep, that sucks. Wow, that was such a bad turn for us. And I, I would have got the Triome had I known, because then we would have been able to play Dream Trawler. But without the Chromatic Lantern, Disenchant in the main deck is super weird. I really don't think this cube is that heavily oriented to... Uh, Artifacts and enchantments. So one, two, four. Sorino. Another deck with Nick though, so that's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, sh sh sure. I don't know why you do it for three. Like, you can't block this guy. Nope, that doesn't work. Man, that Jace turn was rough. <sighs> Conclave. Targeting Soren, sure. Gr 
Interesting. Grinteresting, he said. All right. Well, nothing to target with Silongar. Can't cast Dream Trawler, and nothing to target with Hero's Downfall. Mentor. Oh. That's just fine. They have one card and we get a clue? I feel like any card in our deck was probably better than that. Oh, that was that was a good one. Because now we have this Dream Trawler guy. Mm. Oh wow, that just instant resolved. Yeah, okay. I feel like we're in good shape now. Unless they route the board. Don't route the board. <sighs> yep, alright. Well. So we can go one, two, three. This is a very good threat as well. And also, we can definitely get back one of these with our cast out. So I don't want to Soren in plus because then they can just attack with the Fumarole. So I think we're just going to wait, see what they do, and see which one will be better on this board. They only have two cards in hand. We have two cards and a Clothis, and our cards are very good. Uh-huh. You counter this? Okay. You got it. I'll take four. Oh, that's that's pretty decent. Um, what do I care about you? Anything getting back? I guess mentor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's also five, so if we actually manage to kill this, get Huntmaster back, then Clothis comes to life. That's pretty cool. You got it. We could also pump Lava Claw Reaches, like, by a million... Okay, well, they just really have it all. <laughs> it is great. Great things. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Let's get in there for three. One... Two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah. Just resolved instantly. Needle Spires and Hinterland Harbor. It's pretty good, but I'm sure they'll have an answer for it. Yeah, I was figuring is it charm? That's what I, I was like, you're just gonna dig. Discarded Bane Slayer and a land. And I think a scoop is coming. Alright, seems good. Okay, so they're playing like some control nonsense. Didn't see any planeswalkers though, right? I just don't think many of these cards are great against them. I can see Hexmage being maybe good. 
But the fact that like Hero's Downfall, Oblivion Ring, Lightning Helix, and Abrupt Decay are also versatile, and they're not just like creature removal, that seems good. But I can see taking Martial Coup out for Hex Mage. Because both Hex Mage and Elder Spell just kill a creature. Or a Planeswalker, rather. I have to assume they have some. Yeah, alright. Um, I'll keep this on the draw. Because we can also cycle cast out. Just if I try them, that'd be great. Night of Autumn, we can also cast that. I mean, any land lets us cast that is, is what I'm getting at here. Interesting. Oh, dang, where were you last turn? Okay, so next turn we either get to play Abrupt Decay, Knight of Autumn, or Bone Crusher Giant, which is pretty nice. Oh wow, our hand is pretty stacked actually. I mean, any land here that, that comes into play untapped, Hinterland Harbor would be a nice one. Oh, they're exerting? Oh, they're not exerting. Oh, they're just regularing? Hmm. Mm hmm. Get stomped on, bro. Oh, all right. Oh, nothing. Okay. And we're definitely keeping Night of Autumn. We saw Journey and, like, Cast Down or whatever. So we can keep up abrupt, abrupt decay here. They're just casting this guy. Seems fine. I guess we could have actually cast Bone Crusher Giant. Maybe that would have been better. Narset, sure. I just get to resolve a, a Knight of Autumn. Or a Huntmaster, rather. One, two, three, four. If they want an Oblivion Ring, that's fine. Then we get this Knight of Autumn, hit the Oblivion Ring. We could also Sorend. So they have they got they got both their their enchantment boys, and they have all three now. Okay, that was draw. Well, we're not gonna walk into uh, into sensor, which I feel like what they're that's kind of what they're representing here. Actually, they, oh, if they actually <laughs> actually if they have blessed, we're just gonna play Karanos. And then they can play Tribunal or, or Oblivion Ring. Yep, that seems fine. And then this forces them to actually get rid of it with one of these two. Conclave Tribunal. And then we get to Knight of Autumn and get rid of it. Sure. Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, land is still good. We can also just play this guy, but... Uh, one, two, three... Sure. <laughs> Seems good for us. We have three cards in our hand, and they're all pretty, pretty bananas. 
sure. Luminous poop moth. Draw more. Oh, we don't get to draw more because of this guy. I think this game's over. Realm Cloak Giant doesn't even kill this guy. Oblivion Ring, sure. It's either on Jace? Sure. I think Karanos is actually way better. Yep, that's a good reason why. Uh, one, two, three, four. Hit for eight, and now we have Karanos and two Planeswalkers. Oh, you're just cycling this? Yeah, that's a desperation move. I mean, they're definitely trying to reach Terminus, man, I would assume. Yep, Brood Moth again. So actually, if I could just hit a spell here, we just kill you? We did not hit a spell. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Cycle this. Oh boy. All right, so what can we get here? Prismatic Vista, we can get a swamp. Or we can get a plane. We can't get a planes. We messed that up. So we'll just get Swamp, we'll Lava Claw reaches. Uh, one, two, three. I mean, should put them to one, right? Three, four, is it? wait, what? They're dead if they do that. You gotta block Lava Claw. Oh boy. No, you're, that's... That's death. Interesting. All right. Thank you guys for watching another 2 1 in the books. It's good for me. I'll take it. As long as we get to redraft, I'm good with it. And uh, you can check me out at manatrace.com, coolstuffinc.com, nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore, 68% off for a two year subscription along with one month free. If you guys are looking for a VPN or internet security solution, it's a great way to go and a great way to support the channel. And uh, if you use the link and promo code for Mana Traders down below, you will get 15% uh, off the first three months of any subscription. So check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.